It is uh, Sunday, the 1st of October, 2017. I'm in front of the Unitarian Church of Montreal. Just starting up my <clears throat> alternative spiritual practice of protesting against Unitarian Universalist injustices, abuses, and hypocrisy. And I noticed that the Unitarian Church of Montreal have uh, changed what's in their wayside pulpit. They used to have their mission statement, I should dare say their quite laughable mission statement for the Unitarian Church of Montreal in the Wayside Pulpit, but uh, for a couple of weeks the Wayside Pulpit was like just open with nothing in it. And uh, so I came back this Sunday, this morning, and see laughter is the shortest distance between two people. Well, I must be pretty close to Montreal Unitarians then, because I've been laughing at them for quite some time. Um, not just Montreal Unitarians, uh, top level UUA leadership, that is leadership of the Unitarian Universalist Association. People like uh, Reverend Dr. Peter Morales and uh, Kathleen K. Montgomery and uh, Jim Key, etc., have all been, you know, basically caused laughter on my part. And uh, and have certainly been uh, the butt, the big fat you asterisk you butt of some uh, jokes, because uh, it's truly amazing how outrageously hypocritical they all are. How they not only fail, and that's an all caps fail by the way, capital F, capital A, capital I, capital L, um, to practice what Unitarian Universalism preaches. Uh, but they obstinately refuse to do so. You know, when one points out how they have failed to practice, you know, the seven principles of Unitarian Universalism or <clears throat> some other Unitarian Universalist ideal, you know, they don't do anything to uh, try to correct their behavior. They just uh, continue on in the failure. <clears throat> I'm protesting against uh, problems within the uh, Unitarian Universalist religious community, including uh, cover-up of uh, child sex abuse by Unitarian Universalist ministers. No kidding. We come from the United States, so we've not, we haven't seen this at what? all. What? We come from the United States, right. the U.S., so we've never seen We go to the Uni Unitarian Church. Well, actually, most of it is in the United States, and most it's of the cover-up. Never cover up. Cover up well, yeah, because they cover it up very well. No kidding. <laughs> That's why. Do you, do, you never, check on that. do you never do you never read the uh, UU World magazine? I do. She does. Well, then have you not seen a few articles about the clergy sexual misconduct in the last few years? No. I'll tell you. Oh, well, they're, they're there. Uh, did you know that uh, Jim Key apologized for clergy sexual misconduct at the 2014 UUAGA? Well, that, okay. Do you know about that? Here, I don't know about it. it. Yeah, be my guest. No, but here I get it. See, part of the cover-up of, of specifically you, sexual. You, you mean to say? American press. Right. That, that they have none covered it? That they, they have not covered it. I, I have sent all kinds of emails to the Boston Globe asking yeah. them to report on obvious cover up and they refuse to do so. I think high level Unitarians might have a little bit of influence with the Boston Globe. Yeah, well, yeah. Because yeah. they were the UUA detectives. I know that, but what I'm saying is, you know, there are, I know that there are Unitarian ministers who have. Uh, Boston Globe uh, journalist as friends. Oh, you can be in the picture. <laughs> he wants to be in the picture. That's good, actually. Uh, but getting back to Jim Key, who died recently. Jim Key, the moderator of the Unitarian Universalist. You never heard of him? <laughs> okay. No, but the guy that, or the moderator. The moderator of the Board of Trustees. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, he delivered what was supposed to be an apology for clergy sexual misconduct at the 2014 UUAGA. He inserted it into the middle of his moderator's report, which I think was very inappropriate to begin with. But he essentially played everything down, like he minimized the extent and seriousness. And then in the middle of the apology, he said the following words. There were no incidents of abuse of children or elders in my investigations. So in his apology, he's saying, I investigated clergy sexual misconduct, clergy sexual abuse, and I found no evidence of sexual abuse of children. I personally told them about ministers who were charged, tried, convicted, went to jail for rape of teenage Tibetan refugees and, and other uh, you know, pedophilia. Like, yeah. uh, where, where are you 
from? I'm fr used to be a member of this church until they kicked me out for complaining oh. about <laughs> <laughs> various injustices. <laughs> what part of the United States are you from? Well, we're from uh, really from I'm I'm from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. But okay. Believe me, we yeah. have a lot of yeah. sex scandals with churches. Yeah. Not just the Unitarians. Well, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not oh. saying that the Unitarians are the only ones. <laughs> I'm about yeah. Well, uh, good talking to you, and, and you're yeah. actually engaging in a free and responsible search for truth and meaning, which is the fourth principle of Unitarian thank Universalism. You, thank you. So, well, thank you. It's a very few Unitarians do that. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them bury their heads in the sand. But yeah, just just Google uh, Unitarian child sex abuse. You'll find stuff. Okay. <laughs> or pedophilia. <laughs> so here's an interesting start to my protest. Oh, yes, it's all recorded. Uh, so this older couple were showing up at the church. They saw my picket signs, and so they asked what it's about, and I told them all under six minutes. That's pretty good. Um, and I just went right to the child sex abuse issue because uh, that is, you know, the one where... Maybe Unitarians are the the least well informed, and it's clear these people are they're they're very poorly informed about these issues. In fact, they don't even know who their moderator was. You know, Jim Key. Like they never heard of Jim Key. Like this guy's the second highest, or, or one of the two highest positions in Unitarian Universalism because it's debatable who has more power, the moderator or the president. But he's he's the moderator of the board of trustees has a lot of power and influence within the Unitarian Universalist religious community and these people have never heard of them. You know, and of course they've never heard of any sexual abuse of children by Unitarian Universalist ministers either. And I said, well, that's partly because they're doing such a good job of hiding it. <laughs> so that just proves the cover-up in a way. Like, do you really believe that no child was ever molested by any Unitarian Universalist uh, minister over the last uh, 50 plus years since the merger of uh, Unitarianism and Universalism in 1961? Do you seriously believe on a, just a purely statistical basis that, uh, that uh, not one single Unitarian Universalist minister ever sexually abused a child? So uh, just on pure statistics alone it makes uh, no sense to believe that uh, no children were ever abused by Unitarian Universalist ministers or Unitarian Universalist uh, Sunday school teachers to say nothing of uh, ordinary Unitarian Universalist lay people. Um, so that was a pretty good start to a protest. I was actually late showing up today. I almost didn't come. There were other things I could have done. There's other things I still can do. So I thought of skipping it and going and doing some of that other stuff. And I thought, you know what, I've, I've been doing this so steadily, uh, you know, for the better part of a year, um, that I might as well keep it up as steadily as possible. You know, the other things weren't uh, so important, and some of them I can do later in the day anyway. So, so I decided to show up a little on the late side and uh, put down some chalk slogans. And, uh, and uh, you know, this was my first encounter of the day, and, and I dare say quite a good one. So, uh, we'll see what comes of that. So they come from Philadelphia. I could have actually told them that uh, one of the cases of sexual abuse, albeit not necessarily sexual abuse of children, uh, that uh, is actually known about, uh, and one which hints at the sexual abuse of a minor, uh, took place in Pennsylvania. Uh, but, uh, you know, they wanted to go into the church, so I didn't want to, uh, want to, uh, keep them too long. They can, uh, run Google searches on the appropriate, uh, keywords, and, uh, they should find, uh, a reasonable amount of, uh, material. Alrighty. So we'll continue to uh, circulate here. David Roller going up to the taxi. Oh, here comes Harvey Shepard, former Gazette religion columnist. <coughs> Good morning, Harvey. So, got a look from that jogger. It wasn't entirely open to easy interpretation. Could have been a a glare. 
It could have been a quizzical kind of look, sort of hiding behind glasses, couldn't really read the uh, emotions there, but it didn't look entirely positive, put it that way. Um, anyhow, just uh, continue to circulate here. few people coming this way. people coming from the east, one of them is almost certainly a Montreal Unitarian. Apparently, uh, being able to make it to church on Sunday uh, is uh, good enough for some Montreal Unitarians. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Let's just have a look at the camera here, see how we're doing, if it's still recording. Oh yeah, we're okay. 13 minutes of recording so far. Sometimes the camera shuts off without my being aware of it, so I have to keep an eye on it and not lose too much uh, recording. certain number of people showing up. Uh, not that many though really and uh, of course I did show up a little on the late side so a certain number could have arrived before I got here but, uh, but not a whole lot of people showing up for the service today and uh, that seems to be par for the course. They actually had at the beginning of the church year there was quite a number of uh, young people looked like McGill or Concordia university students showing up but uh, but uh, not so many uh, recently I suspect what happens is you know the younger people they come they've obviously been recruited with uh, propaganda and so on possibly even some direct recruiting in terms of uh, Montreal Unitarian saying hey come to our church kind of thing <clears throat> I've heard stories for instance of a uh, of a CJEP uh, teacher uh, who's a Montreal Unitarian, uh, you know, sort of at least letting it be known to her students that she's a. I don't know what that's all about. That's a very unusual ringtone. Oh, okay. Alarm ringtone. I thought I didn't think I had an alarm for 10:30, but uh, apparently I did. So yeah, it's it's, it's 10:30 already, and. Uh, 
very few people have shown up and the, the service starts uh, now. And in the past, uh, starting last year, in the beginning of the church year, uh, they would do a little procession into the church uh, with Reverend Diane Rollert and basically people would sing a chant or song or something as they went into church. And, you know, sometimes at the beginning they had, I don't know, 15 or maybe at most 20 people and then it sort of dwindled and dwindled down to, to uh, you know, basically a small handful. And it looks like they're not doing it anymore. It looks like they gave up on that idea because, uh, well, then maybe there's just not enough people to <laughs> have a procession into the church today. Maybe so few have shown up because, you know, sometimes they bring them from inside the church out to do the procession in, so maybe it would just uh, be too few people uh, <laughs> to bring them out, and then some of them might have some difficulty uh, trudging their way out of the church, too. So yeah, not a big turnout for today's uh, service, from what I can tell. Um, not sure why that is. Oh, here we go. This is the woman who really didn't enjoy my documentation of my protest. But yeah, it's definitely not uh, Sue Montgomery. There was some question as to whether this person was uh, Sue Montgomery, but apparently it isn't. Uh, so... Hmm. Just some other cranky person. Stragglers here going in. <clears throat> but I have to say that 